Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for right now. Uh, the peace, the surroundings, Lord, even the busyness of our work. Maybe it's the heat of the summer, Lord. Maybe it's the cool air conditioning we find ourselves in. Lord, thank you for where we're at and help us to appreciate it. Because where we are, Lord, we are. We pray, Lord, that we are where you want us to be. We are in the place where people need to hear about faith, to see someone who believes. Lord, it might not be that we have to give some tremendous testimony, but just help us to speak openly and freely about our lives, about where we're going, about how we're getting there. And we pray, Lord, that we will have the opportunities to say how we believe in you, what we believe about you. And we're, we're ready, Lord, and help us to be ready and courageous to have someone check what we believe by what they believe and what their experience is. Because we can't do this alone. And we're not called to your kingdom alone. And so, Lord, help us to be there for each other, to listen to each other, to be listened to, to grow in faith by having that faith challenged in some way, but Lord, to grow in that faith and just appreciating someone else's journey and be awakened that maybe there are more possibilities in what we believe than what we've let ourselves believe. Lord, we pray for the healing we need. Maybe it's bodily healing, physical healing, certainly spiritual healing. Our world is in so much need. There are so many people in need of spiritual renewal and healing. They've been grasping onto anything, Lord. These flitting, floating spiritualities that placate us for a day. They make us feel good for right now, but tomorrow they're gone and they don't mean anything. And so lead us back to the way that is truth, that is Christ, that is life everlasting. And let us walk with our Savior and Lord, even here and now. This day we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The, the reading today is from Galatians, the letter to the Galatian church, reading chapter 5, at verse 5. For we, through the Spirit, wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. So what are you waiting for? Time and again, in all of Scripture, especially in the New Testament, is the call on God's people to now stop and wait. They got to the mountain of God after leaving Egypt. God said, now wait here. Moses is going to come up. You're going to wait there. And they didn't wait very well. And the disciples, after Jesus rose, they, they waited. They waited in the upper room. They waited. And they waited for the Holy Spirit to come on them. And after the waiting was done, were they appreciated? No, people thought they'd been drinking. And Paul, in all that the Galatian church was eager to do, and all that they were ready to confront and to deal with and to sort out as far as policy and procedure and being a church, they were encouraged to wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Wait through the Holy Spirit. And Paul wants them to be able to resolve that it, the, the, the issue isn't the issue. The, and so often what we do with our faith is we make non-issues our issue. So in, in this circumstance, it was... Is, are, are, are we as Christians to be circumcised or uncircumcised? And this was a, a critical, crucial thing. Paul's saying, no, it's not. It never was. And the church had to realize that. Because what circumcision was all about was faith. Was making faith apparent and obvious. That there'd be no question of what their faith was. But they trusted in God so much that they would circumcise. But in Jesus Christ, 
It's faith, faith that works by love. And if you want to show your faith in Christ, it's not all these other things about being a Christian. It's most of all about love. Can you love like Christ commands you to love? God bless and keep you. Amen.